Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer. Today I'm going to show you how to remove image backgrounds in Google Slides using AI. Are you watching the right video? Well, would you like a single click image background removal option? Then yes. Questions answered in today's video. Google Slides remove background button. What is it? How do you use it? And why isn't it enabled for you? We'll end with the very most important question. If it's not enabled for you, what are your free alternatives? Let's jump right in. What is it? It is a single right click image background remover. Okay, well, how do you use it? Be a Google Workspace Labs trusted partner. Talk more about that in a second. Be logged into your personal account. So that looks like your personal account image up there in the right hand corner. And if not, go ahead and just swap accounts, but I'm in the right account. So we're going to stay here. Finally, uh, be in Google Slides and then right click the image. So we're in Google Slides. Here's our image. We want to move ourselves from Newport, Rhode Island to the Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier. I'm going to, so I've right clicked, I've right clicked, and now I'm going to select the remove background option. And if it's not enabled for you, you'll see the other three, but you won't see it. Uh, so don't be frustrated. Just know it's not working. Uh, and I'm going to click the remove background option and we'll give Google time to do its thing, uh, which is generally pretty quick. There we go. Go ahead and grab us with a control C and plop us on the Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier, modern marvel. Totally believable. I'm going to show you four more images so you can just kind of see the quality of the images that Google produces. And so there are two images right here. Varying degrees of background difficulty, and you'll see that in the next two. Uh, but you can see these are clear images with clear backgrounds, and it's very easy for Google to remove the background, and Google does so successfully. The next two images, a little more difficult background in my luxurious garage workout center, uh, a little more muddled. And then, of course, the DeLorean background, even more difficult in the shadows. Uh, but you can see here Google still did a really good job. Uh, pay particular attention to my thumb and the rear left tire on the DeLorean. But you're asking, that's great. I don't see the right click remove button. Uh, how do I enable that? Here's what I can tell you. Uh, this is a labs feature that's rolling out gradually, so you may just not see it yet. If, if you are a Google trusted user that is part of their invite only program, yeah. Google says that this is rolling out to people in their invite only program that are trusted testers. Uh, further refined, this is for uh, US English only, and it has limited global availability. All quotation marks because it's directly from Google's literature. The shorter answer is only Google knows. I can tell you that if you would like to be a trusted tester, anytime you get a request from Google, if you get one, click yes. That's all I've ever done. I've opted into anything that Google asks me to take a look-see, check it out. Hey, would you give us feedback? Anything like that, clicked on the yes button and executed whatever Google form or thing they gave me. If also, if I were you, I would do this. So this is labs.google. And there are a number of extensions and other testing things that you can enable here. Find things that interest you or all of them and just opt in. Let Google know you're interested. And of course, be in your personal account when you do this. It'll, it'll make a difference. Finally, go to the google.com, just straight Google's homepage. And up here in the right-hand corner, you see this little labs guy. And click on that and opt into both of these things right here. That would be a starting point. Other than that, again, only Google knows, but do have three alternative options if this isn't working for you and you are not yet a trusted tester. First one is Adobe, and I'll have the links to both of these, all three of these pages description below, uh, but we'll scroll down to the remove background option. This pops up and I'm going to show you the results here. There are some limits. 17 megabyte photos is your upload limit. And this is free for a limited time. No idea what that means, but uh, get it while it's hot, I guess. And so the results, here we go. Pretty good. Let me get myself out of the way one more time. Not bad. Of course, these are very easy to, uh, these images were easy to remove the background from because of the clear lines. The next two are where it gets challenging. You can see here, my thumb has disappeared and the DeLorean left rear wheel tire, not so hot. So your results may vary depending on which service you're using, which is why we're going to jump into the next one. 
clip drop. Here you have the option to upload up to 10 files, so that could be handy. And I'm going to show you the results from clipdrop.co. Download limit, though, is, is a limit. Uh, you're, you're, you are limited to standard definition. High def requires a subscription, and a bulk option does exist, which you just saw with the 10 file upload option. So here's what they look like. Standard results for the images with clearly defined foreground and background or clearly defined, you know, subject matter. Uh, the next two, again, this is where it gets more difficult. Uh, thumb is gone once again, and there's some shading on my hand. And then the left rear tire is, is something's going on there too. So not as good, not as good as Google, um, but uh, varying degrees of results. The last one we're going to look at here is remove.bg. This is what it looks like. Again, link is in the description. When we drop the images in here, I want to highlight that your download option is limited to 500 by 500 pixels. Pictures look good though. And here I've lost my full left arm almost, but the rear left tire looks good. So just depending on what picture you're using, one of these three options may get it done for you. And I hope they do. But I most hope that you find your way into Google's trusted tester program if you're interested. All right, let's jump back to the end, shall we? I want to thank you for watching. And I do want to ask you uh, that if I've inspired you to experiment with this, please let me know. Finally, if you know any better alternatives or options to these things that I showed you, uh, please let us know. Comments in the description below. Comments? In the, no. Please leave a comment with your better alternatives. Don't forget, lots of link goodness linked below. Like, subscribe, share this with somebody else that might find it useful or helpful. And as always, if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Now go and be productive.